What are going on guys, it's your boy Jack, AKA the Balding Reefer, coming at you today's video, which is getting some aquarium tanks installed and also the closed loop air system. So let's go. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack, I'm indeed the Balding Reefer, or should I say bald now, I specialize in tropical cold water pond and marine fish. This video, as I've just mentioned, is all about getting the aquarium stands in and the new closed loop air system as well, so we can power each one of the fish tanks in here. Now, if you are new, do me a huge favor, support the new fish store, swipe up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and leave me a comment in the video section down below in regards to what you guys think. So let me show you some of the kits that we've got today to be installing. So in essence, we've got 10 of these, three meter lengths, 32 mil, um pvc tubing we've got our corner bits we've got our pvc cement we've got our brackets we have also got our couplings to attach the two pieces together and then we've also got a t junction somewhere but i'm um, not sure where i've put that anyhow we'll find it we've got a hacksaw as well to cut it down but in essence, what we're going to do, we're going to start in the corner here, come all the way down, come out, down, down, all the way around, cross the window, cross down here, and then looping it back in on itself over here as well. Let me set you up in the tripod, and we'll get to cracking. Okay, so like an absolute fool, my battery died in the tripod. But the closed loop air system is in. I am going to show you on video how we actually plumb this into the tanks, and how we actually settle all of the tanks because we have to start from the furthest point, which will be the bottom left, from this bit up here. So where you've got the T-junction just there, let me zoom in on that for you. So where you've got the T-junction just there, that in essence is where the uh, air pump is actually gonna feed into. With it being a closed loop, what I mean by that is it starts here and the, the air will come all the way through. It'll follow it all the way along. That is straight, by the way. I just need to put a, uh, a knot onto the roof to pull it back in line, uh, all the way down here. And then it reconnects itself back on here. So what that means by a closed loop is it's the air pressure tube is constantly pressurized. Once we then drill a hole into the bottom of it to actually put on our air valves to actually feed down to the aquariums, what we can then do is actually pressurise all of the aquariums so each aquarium has its own um, specific volume of air coming out and it's all equal across all of the tanks. Now, I did mention that we're going to be getting some aquarium stands in today. So, as you can see, I'm literally fuelled by Red Bull, Pepsi and Monster Energy and the occasional iced coffee. However, we have got the black aquarium racking down this back wall. As you'll, originally men as you'll originally know from the previous video that I mentioned, I did want to put them down here. However, I can't actually do that. So what I've done is I've put the American fridge freezer, which will keep all of my food in here for when I'm working out of here in the day. I'm gonna put that back on there because it's gonna annoy me. There you go. So I have my food in here that I'm gonna have on in the day and then the fridge the freezer element at the bottom is going to have frozen fish foods as well which will be available to buy online from www.thebaldingreefer.com now let me actually put you in the tripod i'll just give you a little was round of what i'm doing today so fitting in aquarium stands fitting in the fridge freezer getting all that hooked up and then cutting the carpets down to be able to put onto the aquarium stands as well cleaning out a load of tanks and getting them all full of water so, it's not just the glamorous stuff that you guys get to see, you know. It's also the unglamorous stuff, like me putting fridge doors on. But, I'm going to put you on a bit of a fast forward, and we can power through, and uh, actually get a load of uh, the relevant bits and pieces done that we need to. But like I say, it's a process, and I thought I'd show you the process from, from start to finish. Um, Not just show you the good stuff like the uh, the fish coming in and stuff like that. Uh, well, I've got my screw bits up there. I've got my uh, screwdriver here. Uh, 
Uh, where's me little tiny dinky one gone? There he is. There's the badger. Moment of truth, yes, I do need a handle. But we're all up and running, people. Right, job one of the day, get the fridge in and on. Job two of the day, put said bottle of coke in the fridge to get it nice and cold. Right, on to the next job. So it doesn't necessarily have to be bang on even or anything like that. too snug so we're going to need a bigger drill bit so that's those four now in so that'll power these two the third one and the bottom one being the fourth now what we need to do is grab our clue grab our air tubing okay so we've got our soft silicone uh, air tubing which is flexible uh, this was I think 25 quid for a hundred meters from Amazon all we do now is get it, push it over the end, get it all the way to the top. There we have it. And now what we need to do is just take our line. My top tip is if you always go from the front of the aquarium, you're always going to end, you're, you're always going to end up with some slack. And all you want to do then is cut it about four inches from the bottom, which is like right there. And then we'll just cut that there. And I'll snap back to you in a second once I've done that. Okay, that's now cut. And all we do is we then feed it down the back. And we'll leave that one in there. So we know it's plenty from that aquarium. Now I've just got to do another four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 of them. Let me snap back to you in a second when they're all in. I can actually show you me uh, wiring them up to the sponge filters. Okay, so as you've just seen, all of the hoses are now in. They're now plugged on to every tank. So we've got two for the top, the one for the middle, and the one for the bottom as well. What I wanted to quickly show you now is how we're actually going to go ahead and power all of these aquariums. So in essence, all we've got is a sponge filter, which how it works, and just pop the top off, is as you connect your air tube onto, the, onto that top nipple, just there. So that goes on. Air gets forced down through here. Down on the bottom, there's a little bit of an air stone. And then what it does is it forces the air through this chamber, through the top. As the air is being forced down, and being forced, forced down and then back through this um, grid system, what it's doing is it's slowly sucking water through the sponge, which in turn is going to act as a mechanical filtration. So let me rebuild the pump, uh, pump, let me rebuild the sponge filter. And I'll show you exactly how we're going to do this. 
I'm not gonna show you it filtering through at the moment because like I said, that is gonna be on a separate video, but I will spin you around in a second and show you the closed repair system once again. And then that just literally sits at the bottom of your aquarium and you're good to go. Literally as simple as that. Okay, so fridge freezer's in. I'm just dabbling with the aquariums that are on here at the moment. Just making sure that I'm happy with the layout before we go ahead and start cleaning them all. Filtration wise, running the sponge filters as normal, but then I also got a load of these under gravel filters as well, which I'm gonna run an under gravel combined with a sponge filter as well. So again, there's gonna be dedicated videos to all different kinds of filtration here, because that's what the reef at the Balding Reef store is gonna actually enable us to do, is to try out different methods of filtration, and I can let you guys know what's good and what's not so good. Um, so basically you guys don't have to find out the hard way, I do. Um, super old school method though, in essence, water gets drawn down through, the crud gets held underneath the bottom here, and then you just literally vac it out afterwards, obviously you put your substrate across the top, um, but other than that, good to go. This aquarium stand here has gone over the door, uh, I'm going to build <clears throat> a custom racking system to go in here I think. And then a custom racking system to go down here as well. And then a little bit of a, uh, a feature in the middle, as they say. But yeah, it's motoring. Let me snap back in a second though, once I've got all the tanks figured out where I want them to be, installing the flaps. And then we'll pretty much call it a close there for this video. So yeah, bear with. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I, I, I kind of put water in a tank already. It is clean. This is up to temperature. But I couldn't not show you the first aquarium getting water put in it. Got her. You know what I mean? But I'm so excited! <laughs> first ever aquarium in the new Balding Reefer store is having water put in. Obviously, in future videos, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be cycling all of these aquariums. Um, but in essence, that's how the undergravel filter works there. So it sits underneath. A good inch of uh, substrate fantastic this stuff is um, for planted aquariums uh, full links down in the video description down below still not done nothing else I was supposed to put the carpet on there as I explained to you a moment ago however I've not yet because I got carried away but yeah it's got water man let me start watching a second when I've got the rest of the tanks on how I want them and that one's sorted out too Okay, so still nothing else has changed, but the second tank's getting water too. <laughs> Promise on the next shot. The rest of them are gonna be full. Uh, carpet on, tanks on, exactly how I want it. I'm just literally so goddamn excited right now. I mean, imagine that, lights on, flat down. Ooh, doggy. Hey, I am buzzing. Okay, as promised, I told you that the next shot would be with all the aquariums on in place. Um, so the top row is all going to be exactly the same. I just need to bring up the other three um, cube aquariums. These are all three foot aquariums across here. And these here are all of my oddball sizes. So there's three that's the same and then two that's the same as well. And I do have those three over there as well. I may actually move these three because those three over there are the exact same size of these two over here. And then I might actually move these three over there. Yeah, there's no might about it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. But it's actually starting to look like a fish store, people. Got all my timber. Ready to make the custom aquarium stand here. But it's coming. So there we have it. Closed repair system. Fridge freezers installed. Um, you may have seen some other things that you didn't see at the start of this video, i.e. The aquarium racking that I've put there, that is its own video uh, that will be coming out next week um, for you guys. I think it's only half done at the moment. There's still some extra bits that I need to get to actually go ahead and get that set up. Um, make sure you are following me on social media pretty please and make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well. My Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer. Instagram is slightly different, that's at the dot balding dot reefer. Um, also, I do have my merch available on my website. There is now plants on there and fish food as well. Head over and give me some support and some love so we can continue to do the fish room. That's what it's here for now. 
Um, that's www.thebuildingreefer.com. I'm going to draw the video to a close there. Thank you very much for watching. Leave me some love in the comment section down below. As ever though, people, stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.